Okay, I just want to say, right? If you go to Marshall's, that Marshall's, the empty Marshall's building on 66, right, right, on the other side of ShopRite. And there's another one next to it. That thing has been empty for, I mean, the lights are on 24 hours. It's been empty for a very long time. I think the Halloween shop got it for a couple of months, but that's about it. If I had enough money, right? if I had money right now, right now, if, if I got if I got a hold of say a million a billion dollars, whatever it would cost me to buy that whole building and that whole piece of property, buy it off of him. I would take those sixty homeless people back there, and I would all give them a place to live. I would convert all those into into individual apartments with with, with showers and heating and everything else that needs to happen. Even if it gets a big place or in the middle, I would do something. So like, you know, and I would give them all free housing. And then I would fill that, that up with those 60 people. And then who's, who's ever left, so if there's uh, the room left over, anybody else out there that social services refuses to help. And you know, who, who social services refuse to help? Anybody that's making more than $184, $184 a month, right? Social services refuses to help. All the way up until you can afford an apartment. Those are the people in the middle. Those are the people that get forgotten. Those are the people that are unhelped. And what happens when we get stuck? We get stuck uh, out here freezing our asses off, begging for money, begging for for help, and trying to survive and live. Right? So again, that Marshall's building. If I had enough money, I would buy the entire building. And then every one of those people right there that are sitting in, in freezing cold, even the kid that stole my freaking scooter, I would give them all free housing for life.